Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and I'm on a uh, Windows 10 machine and today I'm going to show people with talking software uh, how to get rid of ducking issues. Ducking issues uh, are when you're using talking software and you try to use another program and JAWS goes quiet or another program goes quiet as you're using it. And um, I teach remotely, and the big issue is I cannot hear my student's computer because, of course, they're using JAWS, and the speaker refuses to share with Skype. So this is how you get around all of this. So I'm going to hit my Start key and go to Sound. Search by L-U-F-D, F-D, Sound, Control Panel, Sound. Sound okay. control panel. So do make sure you're on your sound control panel. That's how easy it is to get there and hit enter, enter. and open. Sound dialog. Playback page. Select a playback device below to modify its settings okay. colon. So I'm just going to down arrow. And I have a lot of options. What I do want to show you is go down and select it and then hit your applications key, which is a right click beside Applications, people. context menu to navigate, and press up or down. test, Dis set a, set a, show disabled to devices, show check, test. Disabled devices, make sure they're all, dis uh, all showing and I will show you why in a second. So I need to hit escape out of this and go down to my default device and I change this often and I actually use several sound devices. So I'm going to hit escape. Escape, leaving menus, and, 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 and speakers, real tech high definition. All the way down to my real tech high definition. Those are the built in. I have other uh, NV, uh, DIA, HDMI ports also, but this is the one that I've got set as default right now. And I'm hitting my applications key. Applications, context menu to okay. navigate, press up or down arrows. And I'm going to go to the properties so you can just up arrow to properties. Properties key. Enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Select the playback. So here I am uh, on my playback devices, and I'm going to go ahead and control tab to advanced. Levels page, advanced page, default format. Now, the way I figured this out was I actually had one of my students go to 16 bit DVD. Uh, the default is 24 bit, but what happened is I could then hear her jaws perfectly, and oh my gosh, uh, her room was in, and her perfectly, and her para, and everybody, and everything. It was so clear because the speakers gave complete way to that 16-4 bit. However, she could not hear me. So the speaker is completely muted and that's a ducking issue. Ducking just means the sound goes and ducks and hides. Uh, so anyway, this is a way to keep it on 24 bit. And then you wanna tab in and you're gonna go down to allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Well, that's gonna be an issue um, in general. Now, I haven't found an issue with my computer because I have so many sound devices, so I have been able to have JAWS still take complete control of this audio device. And I'm going to show you how to tweak your playback, which is going to um, stop the ducking and JAWS going quiet. And if you've ever used Narrator and you're uh, using other sounds, Narrator completely takes over the sound card and everything else is very muted. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tab in and just uncheck this. Tab, default format test button. To now, when you hit test, let me show you what's going to uh, happen. I'm going to shift tab back and change to 16. Shift tab, default format 24-bit, 24-bit, 48Z, 24-bit, 960Z. Okay, and I'm going, going to go ahead and tab. Tab, default format test button to so activate press space bar. you what you're doing also. And if you don't have other options uh, or conflicting options, mine don't conflict anymore, uh, but what it will say is if you go this route, it's going to completely disable your other device or whatever that is. Uh, and if you say yes, it really will, and then that's going to affect your speaker. But I'm going to show you how in to enable two audio devices so your ducking stops. Tab, exclusive mode, allow application okay, space, not checked. Okay, and then go ahead and apply it with all A. All the speakers properties dialog, device and use dialog, the device is being used by another application. If you continue, that application may stop working. Do you want to continue? Okay. Yes. There is going to be your issue. So until you fix all your playback options, uh, it will go quiet. 
So go ahead and tap to know until you fix your playback option. So let's go ahead and tap to know. Tap, no button, space, space sound down. dialog, playback okay. page, select a playback. Uh, and you can always restore defaults if you completely uh, screw this option up as we humans uh, really are good at doing. So let's go ahead and escape. Escape, out. select a playback. To now what I'm going to do is control tab. You have four tabs. I'm going to control tab to your recording device. Recording page. Select the recording okay. device below to modify its settings. Now, once again, you're going to have to down arrow into it, and you're going to have to show all disabled devices. Desktop microphone. Application. Con and uh, as you can see, or if you, you will hear, all my, because I've already done this, so they're all checked, and then all you have to do is hit enter on that. Dis show disabled devices checked. Yes. Okay. So all my uh, devices that weren't showing, and, I'll, and your stereo mix is not showing and it is disabled that's your key right here so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit escape escape leaving menus and i'm going to go ahead and mic light stereo mix now when i hit my applications key it said disabled and that's all i had to do and it is enabled applications context menu to navigate press up or down arrow d disable d okay. so it says disable right now but before when i hit my application key i enabled it and then it be and it came into view and that's what fixed all my problems. However, uh, some of my students did not have this. So if you don't have it, this is the next step that you're going to have to take. Now, I already opened this in a browser, and I like Power Firefox because it's so accessible. So I'm going to hit escape. Escape, leave it. And I'm just going to alt tab and put it into focus. Alt tab, Skype trademark dash alt tab, alt tab, alt tab, real tech dash Mozilla Firefox, real tech dash. So you go ahead and do a search for realtech.com, my address, and I will actually paste all of this into my website, yourtechvision.com, if you want it to be even easier uh, for you to go ahead and, and do all of this if you're not a great searcher uh, yet, and some people do have some difficulties with that. Anyway, when you get to this site, you actually have to accept uh, the conditions of downloading this high definition audio Kodak before you actually are able to download it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit X and I'm going to say yes. I accept the above. Checkbox not checked. And I'm going to check it with spacebar. Space checked. And I'm going to tab to next. Tab next button. And space. Bar. Space. Realtek dash Mozilla Firefox. Realtek 56 links. Okay, I'm just going to hush him up. Now this is a table, so you can jump down into your table, and it's going to ask you, do you want to download a 32-bit or a 64-bit? So you do need to know what your computer is. And if you just go to your, uh, hit your start key, go to computer, or Windows 10 is PC, applications key, and properties, it will actually tell you what it is. So let's go ahead and hit choose your table. Five columns and 11 rows. Column one, row one, link description. Okay, and then do control alt down arrow to go down to the item that you want. So control alt down arrow. Blank, row two, 32 bits vista with 64 bits vista okay. windows. So I have a 64 bit uh, machine and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit down arrow, down arrow moves you uh, horizontally until I hear the link global. The reason why you do not want to pull up all your links is because you're just going to have a whole bunch of globals and you don't know what it applies to. So down arrow to global now. R2.8 of 2016 slash 214 link global on mouse over. And that link goes there. So go ahead and hit enter. Enter. Call 5 row 4. Global link on mouse over. Azure. Mozilla Firefox. Now a dialog box opens and you're just going to tab to save. Uh, and then it's going to go ahead and go into your downloads folder. Now I've already done this, so just tab to save, and then I'm going to show you the next step. Escape, call five. Now, what I always like to do is I like to listen to the downloads, how long it's taking. So control J. Control J, library, extended, select list box, not selected, chap 13, quiz, dot, dot. Okay, so it would be right there right now, and it would be uh, saying, you know, 56, 65, 75, etc., and whatnot. Uh, and then you can listen to it and then I hit my applications key and I go to open containing folder uh, Because I always want to know wherever I download something just in case it accidentally doesn't download to download Because it could go to my app data temp folder and then of course it's lost for so what I do once I download it Is I do an alt D and listen and if it's not where I want it to be I place it there by just typing it in so I'm 
I hit escape. escape. Now extract it. So I'm going to go ahead and Alt F4 out of all of this. Alt F4, Alt F4. Okay, so once you run it, and I, I'm a huge believer in completely shutting down your machine and starting it back up, I am not saying restart. JAWS and talking software gets kind of nasty little hiccups in it if you do a restart. So if you do start key M to access your desktop and Alt F4, just hit S for shut down if that's not your default, shut it down, restart, and then go through these steps to go to your recording and enable your stereo mix and make sure it says default communications device because I have another device for my desktop microphone so of course my students can hear me easily. So you're actually going to set up two different defaults. And then remember to go into your properties, into your advanced, and uncheck take exclusive control. And then you'll notice you're not going to have that issue. You'll also notice it took over the 16-bit um, DVD device. And so that's how you share both of those. The play uh, and that your speaker will now share your talking software and any other audio that you want to utilize, like YouTubes. Okay, so that is the tricks to getting uh, ducking to stop without actually having to do a whole code rewrite um, and getting your speakers to be nice and share with your other programs. Okay, go forth and conquer. And once again, if you want those links, go to your tech vision dot com, my site, and it will be on the home page for a while, but then it will move to your other pages, so you can just do a search.